Hi Science Tellers! Welcome to Science Deli, the channel where we tell you amazing stories about science and history. Today, we have a mystery that no one has solved for more than a hundred years. Who were the Kerna mummies? The Kerna mummies are two ancient Egyptians who were buried in a hidden tomb near the Nile River. A British explorer found them in 1908. The mummies were a young woman and a child. They were inside two beautiful coffins made of wood, gold, and ivory. They also had some jewelry with them. But there was a problem, no one knew who they were. The writing on the coffins was broken and hard to read, and there was no record of them in history. Who were these mysterious people, and why were they buried in such a secret place? In this video, we will look at the clues and guesses that might solve this ancient mystery. Kerna is a village on the other side of the Nile from the old city of Thebes. It is also where many tombs of the kings and nobles of ancient Egypt are. Some of the tombs are very old, from the Middle Kingdom and the New Kingdom. The area has many treasures from the past, but also many problems. For a long time, the people of Kerna lived on top of the tombs, and took things from them to sell or use. The government of Egypt tried to make them move many times, but they did not want to leave their homes. In 2006, the government finally made them move and destroyed their houses, to save and protect the tombs. One of these tombs was found in 1908 by Flinders Petrie, a famous explorer of ancient Egypt. Petrie was digging a hill near Kerna when he found a secret hole that led to a room. In the room, he found two coffins that looked very nice. They had the mark of Amenhotep III, one of the strongest kings of the 18th dynasty. Petrie was very happy, thinking he had found the tomb of a royal family. He opened the coffins and saw the mummies of a young woman and a child covered with cloth and wearing jewelry. The woman had a necklace of gold and ivory, and the child had a bracelet of gold and red stone. Petrie was very impressed by the beauty and value of the jewelry, but he was also confused. Who were these people, and why were they buried here? Petrie hoped to find the answer in the writing on the coffins, but he was not lucky. The writing was very damaged, and only a few words were clear. The woman's coffin had the title, King's Great Wife, but the name of the king and the queen was not there. The child's coffin had no name at all, only a picture of a duck, which might mean, son. Petrie tried to guess who they were, based on the shape and age of the coffins. He thought they were from the 17th or 18th dynasty, which ruled Egypt from about 1550 to 1300 BC. He guessed that the woman might be the wife of Sakenan Radau, the last king of the 17th dynasty, who fought against the invaders from another land. He also guessed that the child might be the son of Kamoz, the brother and next king of Sakenan Radau, who also fought against the invaders. Petrie thought that the woman and the child might have been killed by the invaders, and buried in a secret place to keep them safe. But Petrie's guess had many problems. First of all, the mark of Amenhotep III on the coffins did not match the time of the 17th dynasty. Amenhotep III was the king of Egypt about 200 years later, in the 18th dynasty. Why would he mark the coffins of his old relatives? Second, the style and color of the coffins did not match the 17th dynasty either. They were more like the 18th dynasty, especially the time of Amenhotep III and his son Akhenaten, who changed the religion of Egypt. Third, the jewelry of the mummies did not match the 17th dynasty either. They were more like the jewelry of the 18th dynasty, especially the time of Tutankhamun, the famous boy king who was the grandson of Amenhotep III and the son of Akhenaten. So, Petrie's guess was not very good. But who else could the Kerna mummies be? Many other experts have tried to solve this mystery, but none of them have a clear answer. Some of them think that the woman might be one of the wives of Amenhotep III, who had many wives and children. Maybe she was Taya, his main wife, or Sidamon, his daughter and wife, or Kia, his favorite wife. Some of them think that the child might be one of the sons of Amenhotep III, who also had many sons and daughters. Maybe he was Thutmose, his eldest son, or Smenkher, his co-ruler, or Tutankhamun, his youngest son. Some of them think that the woman and the child might be related to Akhenaten, the son of Amenhotep III who became the king after him. Maybe they were his wife Nefertiti, or his daughter Meritaten, or his son-in-law Ankhreperer. But none of these guesses are certain, because there is not enough evidence to prove them. The writing on the coffins is too broken to read, and the DNA of the mummies is too damaged to test. The only way to know for sure who the Kerna mummies are is to find more clues in the tomb or in other places. Maybe someday, 
someone will find the missing piece of the puzzle that will reveal the truth. So, that's the story of the Kurna mummies, a mystery from ancient Egypt. What do you think, science tellers? Who do you think the Kurna mummies are? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more amazing stories from Science Deli. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.